If you're looking for a clear and straightforward tutorial on how to connect Gmail to N8N, I've got you covered in under five minutes. Let's go. All right, so first things first, we're gonna head on over to Google Cloud Console. Once we're there, go up here and click Select a Project. We're gonna go ahead and click on New Project, and from there, we're gonna name it. So we'll go with N8N Demo uh, 1. We don't really need to worry about the organization, that's all good, so let's go ahead and click on Create. So it'll take a minute to load, but once it does, we're gonna go up here to the notifications. We'll click on select project. And as you can see, that's N8N demo one. So we'll work on that. All right, and as you can see, it says we're working here. So now all we gotta do is go to the top left in the navigation menu, and we're gonna click on APIs and services. So we're gonna start with the OAuth consent screen. You need to fill all this out before you can go into your credentials. So you can choose between internal and external. Internal is gonna be more secure. Considering I'm the only one who's gonna be using this, I'm gonna go ahead and go with external since it's easier. And I'll hit create. You can name your app whatever you want. I'll go with N8N to Gmail demo. And once you're there, you're gonna to wanna to enter in your email. You don't need to click anything for the app logo, app domain, but for authorized domains, you're gonna to wanna to click in here head back into N8N, and you need to find whatever service you're using uh, to host. And I'm using render.com to host, so what I do is I go over here, and I copy in this, but it can be different. If you're using a local host, it'll have uh, something similar. So I can't give you an exact answer, but it really comes down to what you're using. But from there, just go ahead and paste that in, and for developer contact information, put in your email. I have realalexcaris at gmail.com. Go ahead and click save and continue. And now we're getting into scopes. So before we get into that, go to the search bar and type in Gmail. We're gonna go ahead and click on the Gmail API and we're gonna enable it. Now that we're in, we're gonna head back to the OAuth consent screen. We're gonna go back to editing our app. And now that we're in, we can click on add or remove scopes. So we're gonna type in Gmail. So we'll type in Gmail and this really comes down to whatever you wanna use. These are the ones I go for. I like to use the dot modify, dot compose, dot action, dot compose, dot message, dot action, uh, dot read only, metadata, add emails into my Gmail box, view them, and then view them when the add-on is running. So it really comes down to you. Uh, just keep in mind, uh, you don't wanna be giving any of this information out to people. You do run into security risk with these, so just be cautious with them and make sure you know what you're doing. As you can see, we now have our non-sensitive scopes, our sensitive scopes, and then we have our restricted scopes. So these are the ones that have very sensitive user data. So I don't wanna be anyone seeing any of this stuff, uh, but I'll go ahead and click save and continue. So now we're gonna go ahead and add in a test user. So put in your email again. So I go ahead and type in realalexcaris at gmail.com. I'll add that in. And we'll click save and continue. So now we have our summary, but we're not quite done yet. We want to go into credentials. We're going to click create credentials, OAuth client ID. For application type, we want to stick with the web application and then you can name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna leave that there. And then for authorized redirect URIs, I'm sorry, we go ahead and go into N8N, and when we do create a new credential, it'll be this right here. So you just gotta click that, go back in here, and paste that bad boy in. So let's click create. And now we get our client ID as well as our client secret. Do not give those away to anybody. Uh, Obviously it's here, but I'm not actually gonna use this one. So we copy in the client ID, paste that in, and then let's copy our client secret as well. So we paste that in, click save. And now we sign in with Google. So I'll go ahead and click on my account, continue, select all, continue. And looks like we got connected. The window can be closed now. All right, and that's all there is to connect Gmail to N8N. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're interested in more AI content for sales and marketing. Peace.